My name is Drama B. I'm from the Bronx, New York, and I started rapping in 2009. I found my inspiration through Kanye, and uh, my newest found inspiration, Dizzy Wright. Um, he was a freshman, XXL. This year, big shout out to Dizzy Wright. What's up, world? The Watch Me Contest is back. You know the drill. I make a song, I leave 16 blank bars, and the person who heats those bars up the best Wins. I found out about the Watch Me contest. This was about like two years ago, uh, 2011, when they first started. Uh, Daystorm does this contest every year, and um, he basically leaves 16 bars, blank bars on a song, and tell artists to get on it. And I heard about it through other artists that was getting on the competition, of course, my fans also. Uh, the Watch Me verse goes like, since I've been rapping and trapping, attacking beats with massive lyricism, they asking how did I be? I'm after aftermath, so boys and girls just meet me after class, and I can show you classic math, like counting money step by step. Yeah. Like, I ain't balling, I'm just hungry for more than the average rapper I'm eating, cause I can finally afford it. Right, read, recorded, that's the order called the coroners. I'm sorry, day storm, I had to kill it. Sorry, all of y'all. The biggest and hardest step that I took towards uh, hip hop to become the hip hop artist I am is taking everything and trying to do it myself. So, which means video production, audio engineering, and of course, uh, marketing and promoting myself. All young girls this pops off the chains. Bow Wow. I'm not even gonna lie. When I was, I was like 12 years old, and I'm over here, I had the braids and everything. <laughs> You know, I wanted to be Bow Wow. I'm not even gonna lie, I wanted to be him. The most important thing about rap is uh, uh, sharing your life story, your struggles, and you know, just what you've been through. Your struggles can be different from somebody else, or your struggles can relate to somebody else's. It can even be accomplishments too, because your accomplishments can be somebody else's accomplishments, and that person will cling on to you and become a supporter. When this dream will come true. What does it mean for me to be interviewed by Bob? Is that a real question? It means the world to me. I was on a train coming here. I was just thinking, like, what are they gonna ask me? What am I gonna do? Like, am I gonna make a fool of myself? Like, Bob is big, like Vibe magazine? What? I mean, just being on a Vibe website, it's gonna be like, wow. I just wanna thank, you know, Day Storm for holding this contest and, you know, choosing me as the winner. Thanks to all the people that have voted for me. Uh, through Facebook, Twitter, um, YouTube, everybody that's out there, because y'all got me. So I'm currently working on a mixtape. Uh, I'm just gonna give a random date when it's dropping. I believe, uh, let me just say January 17th. It's called My Greatest Comeback. It'll be on Nat Piff and Hot New Hip Hop with various producers. Also, we have uh, special guest um, appearances on there. Also, right after that dropping, I got an album that's already finished, produced by my producer, Sean Bayer, big shout out to Sean Bayer. Uh, he's down in PA, uh, Limerick, Pennsylvania. Um, he produced the whole album and it's, it's just gonna be awesome. So I think I'm gonna drop that around March or April. I never thought that I'd be saying this, but these rappers nowadays, they ain't really saying shit. Rather call it quits. It's good, I'm Drama B. I just wanna give a big shout out to King Ice and Lofty Apparel, also Silver Label. Sponsored companies, also, you know, King Ice got Snoop Lion, Snoop Dogg, Snoopzilla. <laughs> we got everybody on the team.